Hey everyone, I'm back with another review for you on some sunscreens. I'm going to briefly talk about uh, the difference between non-mineral sunscreens and mineral sunscreens. Mineral sunscreens being the ones that are the more natural um, and better for you, but also I know not everyone's not interested in it. Um, so you can see the difference and make your own decision. So there are two videos I'm going to suggest you watch down below. One of them has a great review on many of the more non-mineral, the more truly natural sunscreens. Although I would not recommend Banana Boat since they're not cruelty free in her review. And Aubrey sunscreen I had thought of switching to, but I personally would not recommend switching to them because they have the ingredients um, I think they had a uh, honeysuckle extract, some Japanese honeysuckle extract, which is actually methylparaben, which is a preservative that can be linked to cancer. So you have to make your own decision what's right or wrong for you. But um, because of that, I wouldn't suggest them. But they are grossly free. Okay, so the first one, talking about sunscreen in general, I personally don't wear sunscreen unless I'm going to be outside for a life. I'm working on a example TV show last year I worked we were at a back lot and we were outside um, for many days like all day and eventually thought you know I don't like this but then there's also heavy makeup they put on us and I thought you know I would like to have my own sunscreen so I am one that's better for your skin so I wanted to invest in that and that was somewhere where it's needed but I personally don't think you need to be wearing sunscreen all the time you do need to go outside to get vitamin D that we don't make vitamin D ourselves that's a great way to get vitamin D is just go out in the sun for a bit. But I only usually wear sunscreen if I'm going to be out for like a long, like 12 hours, you know, of the day, whatever it is, working on a TV or a movie, something like that. However, that's the only time I would wear it. Or if I'm going out, last summer I went swimming in an outdoor pool a, a few times by the beach, which is really nice. Um, but I wore sunscreen so that I don't get burned because I'm very fair as you can see I'm not wearing any foundation or anything um, and I can burn easily otherwise I don't wear sunscreen you have to make your own decision I'm also going to recommend a lotion that if you do want to use it more frequently that um, is actually really moisturizing and also has SPF in it so let's get into it so first the through the best mineral sun and I looked at crazy amount of reviews like honestly a lot of reviews and a lot of um, guidelines from EWG, again I mentioned them before, Skin Deep Environmental Working Group, they have listed not just in terms of how um, clean or toxic a product is, but more importantly how good does the product perform because then sun as it mentions, please watch the videos I explained down below, there's UVA and UVB protection, a lot of sunscreens, even ones that are not natural, actually don't have very good UVA protection and you want something that's going to give you both, so I'm going to um, if you look in the down bar, down below, you'll see the exact information of which is good, excellent, moderate, or poor in their coverage. And um, yeah, you can make your own decision and compare them all. So the best one I found, I've never tried them, but I've heard great things about it. It's, in one, it's mentioned in the other video I recommend it, is DaVita. So it absorbs really well. The only downside I would say to them, this is who I'm probably going to be switching to this year, I'm going to give them a try, is they can be costly around $25. However, I saw an Unvitacost for, I think it was $14, but, 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 on Vitacost, this is why, Vitacost is a great website, you know, I'm sure you could look on iHerb or other natural or other, you know, websites or is, um, their ingredients, what's on Vitacost website does not match what is Davida's current formulation of this product, which makes me believe that either one of two things, Vitacost does not update their website, or this is or that they have an old product that may be expired. So just something to think about. Um, I know when I heard on some of their on their website and some of their products, they will um, will list the expiration date of the product. I think Vitacost, you could do some that would be something to look into, would make your website even better. So just keep that in mind. But you do get a lot, you get like seven fluid ounces, which is a lot, most natural mineral sunscreens in anywhere between two to four fluid ounces. So actually it's a, technically a better buy, so that's another reason I'm considering it. Um, it's supposed to moisturize in really well, it's not greasy, um, yeah, so I'll give it a try. If you want, uh, this is again the SPF sort of more lotion. 
Also from DeVita, they have what's called the Vita Natural Skin Care Solar Protective Moisturizer SPF 30 Plus. It again also gives the same amount of protection. Um, it's great. And yeah, it, you only get, I think, 2.9 fluid ounces, they, or 2.5, they increase the amount. Again, I would, you can find that on Vitacost, I would suggest there. Next is, you can find this at Whole Foods. I had never heard of this brand until last year. It's called Goddess Garden. The best one I would recommend from them, and I have tried their testers, is Goddess Garden Baby Natural Sunscreen SPF 30. It also has pretty good UVA, UVB coverage. Um, it is more natural. Um, however, it may be a bit more greasier than DaVita, but it's not necessarily greasier, but just something to consider. So there, I would try the tester. Again, go to Whole Foods. If you don't have a Whole Foods, you can try ordering from them somewhere online, but um, they're pretty good. Goddess Garden Baby Natural Sunscreen, they had, out of all their line, they had the best coverage for protection. Badger is the next one. Badger, this one's hard review to do because I love the company Badger. I think their ingredients are very, um, they're generally pretty good in most of, if not all of their products. They're very honest and use very natural, truly natural ingredients that work. However, I found it really greasy. I didn't like it and it left a really white kind of case to the skin. It's still a great product, but you just, again, it's, I would definitely try the tester out because you have to see what works for you. But I would try, um, any of their sunscreens are great, but the Badger Broad Spectrum Sport Sunscreen SPF 35. That would be my suggestion. So those are the mineral sunscreens. Now, I, again, I would always suggest going with that, but I know not everyone's into mineral sunscreens. It's something, it's new for all for a lot of people, um, but if you are looking for something that is maybe cruelty free but kind of more closer to the sunscreens you maybe grew up with, the more conventional toxic stuff in it, the best one I found, Nature's Gate. But this one actually has not bad coverage. Um, it goes excellent, good, moderate, excellent. Whereas most of them, it's 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 not too bad for the coverage and it's rated a three. If you see a higher number down below, a higher number is worse. You would think it would be better, but the lower the number, the closest to zero is more natural. The closer you get to 10 is extremely toxic. Nature's Gate, I've heard that they're, it's pretty good. It's fragrance free. I heard it's not too bad. Um, it's four fluid ounces. The next one is Elba Botanica. They're the most toxic. I tried them last year and while it didn't make me burn, it said it's supposed to be, it doesn't technically say it's fragrance free, but it's the same ingredients as uh, or very similar to the fragrance free one. Um, it was okay, but I found it still did leave a smell even after I washed my bathing suit as an example and it still had a bit of residue so I wouldn't try that and I believe theirs may contain oxybenzone which is not very good for you. Um, their moderate, it's funny, their um, UVA coverage is not very good but if you want to try one that you you know you can't order online, you have to buy one in the store but you really want to go cruelty free and, the mineral ones aren't for you. I guess you could try the, you know, the Alba Botanica natural, very emollient sunscreens called Sport SPF 45. But my honest best recommendations are Devita, Goddess Garden, and if you have to go for one that's not natural, um, Nature's Gate. But Devita, I'm really excited to try. Um, I hope that you find this interesting and helpful, and again, please do watch the two videos down below if you want further information. I'm leaving this hopefully as a video response to one or both of them because they give great information and they explain in better depth than I have how sunscreens really work and, you know, how waterproof works or not work, and that's something that um, we've actually, the higher number doesn't always mean the more coverage that you think. We've sort of been lied to and marketed and that it's not... It's a little more complicated, so anyway, they explain it. If you really want to understand how sunscreen really works, um, just know that our understanding of sunscreen is not 100% uh, accurate and correct. So watch those videos if you're interested. Um, if you have any other that you wish to share, please feel free to let us know, and have a wonderful day.